In this video, codingbat.com, section logic one, and today's question is going to be in one to 10. So in one to 10 using Python. And so let's look at our question in one to 10. So given a number n, return true if n is in the range one to 10 inclusive, unless outside mode is true, in which case return true if the number is less than or equal to one or greater than or equal to 10. So that's our question. And so now let's analyze that a little bit to think about how we want to build our function. So we know that what we're going to be returning is ultimately a Boolean. We're gonna return true given a couple of conditions. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. And so we have two arguments actually in our function. Uh, we have n and we have outside mode. So n is a number, it's an integer, and then outside mode is a Boolean. So it's either true or it's false. And we're going to have to handle our answer differently depending on if outside mode is truthy or falsy. So because of that, uh, as now we start to build out our function, I think we want to handle outside mode first. So what we would do is start with if outside mode, and then in here, we can start to build our first return statement. So we want to closely examine this line regarding what happens with outside mode. And so if the number is less than or equal to one, we're going to return true, or if it's greater than or equal to 10, we're going to return true. So we're going to say if n is less than or equal to one, or n is greater than or equal to 10. Okay, so less than or equal to one, or greater than or equal to 10. And so this is our return statement inside the if statement. So now that we've handled our if statement, uh, we can come down and create the next line of our code. And so we're gonna deal with the situation where if outside mode is false. And in that situation, we're gonna wanna return true if n is in the range one to 10 inclusive. So uh, if it's one, that's true, or if it's 10, that's true. So what I'm thinking uh, is we can go straight into a return statement and there's a couple ways we could actually do this, but I'll give you the most efficient one first um, to make sure it works. So if we, we could do n in range one to 11. Sweet. So I think that will work. I think that will cover this condition here using the range built-in function. And so let's click go and let's see how that works. Awesome. So we're getting all green. We have all correct. Um, in all situations, this function has been adequate. Uh, this solution has been adequate. And we're here we're using the range built-in function and we're using an if statement with outside mode. So this is our first solution. Now, another way you could do this, of course, is to just check if n is between one and 10. So if you could, you could do something like um, n is greater than or equal to one, uh, or n is, uh, or and actually, n is uh, less than or equal to 10. So greater than or equal to one, and less than or equal to 10. And we can run that, and that will work as well. So we've done it with the range built-in function and we've done it uh, the good old fashioned way using and. It's important to note that here in our if statement, we're using or, well as in our second return statement, uh, we're using and. Now, as an aside, um, coming back to our range method of answering this. So why does this work? So why does range work as well? So let's review what the range built-in function does. So if we put in range one to 11 here, uh, we return that range and we can actually wrap this in a list as well. And we can see that this returns one to 10. So range built-in function is actually creating a list for us basically uh, from one to 10. So you can see uh, it doesn't actually include the 11, it only goes up to 10. And so that's why uh, we're using 11 here. If we put 10 in, I expect that one of these cases, yep, that this red uh, isn't working. So that's why we have to do 11. Now, 
Of course, you could wrap it in list as well, um, as we've done in the terminal, um, but that's, uh, that's unnecessary. So you don't need the list here. Of course, it works with list as well, um, but range is perfectly fine. And I think that this answer is actually uh, superior to using the and. Now lastly, I actually have a third way that we could write out this return statement, and that is like this. So we have n in the middle here, we have 1 on the left, we have 10 on the right, uh, and you can see that these signs are actually the same. And so this is a third way we could do it. We can click go and that works. So if you didn't want to use the range built-in function, um, I like this method as well. I think it's actually potentially better than the and method. This is a third way to do it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We have our in 1 to 10 function. Um, everything is correct. Everything is passing. We've looked at a couple different ways to have our return statement. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have alternate solutions, you can leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much. Bye.